PFG family, me and your boy DJ been putting in overtime for this series. Between running two car dealerships and a trucking company, he's barely had time to sleep. After going back and forth with the contractor at the new car lot, he finally got word that the job is complete and he could begin moving vehicles inside. See, sometimes in life, it's not about what you know, but rather who you know. DJ was able to make contact with a local billionaire by the name of Devin Weston. This guy is loaded. I mean, he's so damn rich, he don't even pay taxes. Devin saw a lot of potential in DJ and agreed to help him upstart his car dealership. See, Devin agreed to allow DJ to place a few of his cars on his lot as long as DJ pays the insurance on them. If DJ is able to sell one of his cars, he would receive a 10% cut from the sale. Now, honestly, that's not the best deal, but it's a start in the right direction. What will DJ's next big move be? Stay tuned to find out. Yes, Sarsky! PFG family, man, we are finally back with another dope ass video. Like always, go ahead and smack that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video on the way in. Now, guys, before we get into it, man, I just got to give y'all a heads up, bro. We got a lot of work to do this episode. So go ahead and get your popcorn ready, man. Let's go ahead and jump right into it with a quick outfit check, man. We we didn't go too crazy today, but we still clean, bro. So let's just go ahead and start it off with those frames. I need I needed to get in close so y'all can see the frames, bro. Y'all gotta see the frames. We ain't gotta talk too much about it. Of course, y'all see I got on my, my Yankees jersey. You know, something like with just the fitted jeans. And then, of course, we got on the retro Jordans, man. But I don't even care about the outfit check today, guys. We are making moves. I told y'all this series is gonna be about growth and development. Not, not the other GD, bro, but we really focusing on growth and development, man. So y'all seen from the start, we had the mechanic shop. We sold that. We got a car lot. We bought another car lot. Like, we, we making moves, man. So now we are actually here at our mentor's um, I guess car storage facility, whatever you want to call it, man. And we are getting ready to pick up some cars so we can go ahead and take them over to our car lot now. As you can see, man, we got that 18 wheeler right here. He is actually going to let us use one of his trucks now. Y'all know we have our own trucking company, but we do not have our own trailer like this. So we actually had to use one of his trucks, man. He's actually being, being pretty pretty nice to us man not gonna lie to you y'all so i went ahead and dropped the bed down i'm getting ready to run inside and show y'all what cars we will be taking over to our dealership bro so yeah man as y'all can see it is actually bright and early i think it's like nine o'clock right now and if you look over under the map bro i am starving i'm thirsty bro like <laughs> i'm just working right now man we in the grind bro we stuck in the grind so let's go ahead and run inside his um this little studio or I guess whatever you want to call this place and see what cars will be taken over to our dealership now guys this place is beautiful and i hope to one day own something like this myself bruh i mean inside and out it is beautiful i would show y'all downstairs i don't know if we'll have enough time though like he has a car elevator and everything um for you to be able to get to the basement and things like that for more stores but these are actually the vehicles he's gonna let us move over to his lot excuse me to our lot so the thing about it is i i do have to pay um you know insurance and everything for keeping these vehicles on my lot so i i didn't want to go too crazy you know as far as like a lamborghini or anything like that so we just got the porsche this thing is beautiful that is the gt3 bro rs as well we got the beautiful porsche we got the audi you know something nice and then we also got the jaguar truck and then we got the, uh, I believe this is a Porsche Panamera. Now, I really want one of these for myself. This may not be the Pan Panamera. I think it is, but I may be wrong. Y'all go ahead and correct me in the comment section. I know y'all will, but yeah, I wanted one of these for myself, bro. But the thing about this uh, specific car here, just this one, the other one's made, but this one doesn't have a sunroof. So I feel like that kind of that kind of hurt the car a little bit. But like I said, guys, these are the vehicles we'll be taking over to the car lot. Um... I was kind of stuck, bro, because I think one of these cars I want to go put over at our luxury dealership, and then the other three we'll keep at our dealership that's not so luxury, bro. So, I honestly, out of all four of them, I'm thinking that GT3 is going to go over to the luxury dealership, but I'll let you guys decide in the um, comment section which cars should we actually take to the luxury dealership and which uh, three should we leave at our lot around the corner. So, guys, I am not finna hold y'all up any longer. I'm getting ready to go ahead and load these vehicles, bro. I will see you once we get over to our new dealership to get everything staged. 
All right, y'all. So I finally got all the cars unloaded and in the uh, the parking lot, man. This is what I was talking about when we were checking out the dealership the first time. This is like the perfect little area, you know, to handle our deliveries, our pickups, our drop-offs, all of that good stuff. Now, hopefully we won't be, well, no, excuse me. Hopefully we will, you know, be uh, having deliveries of this size all the time, but who knows, man. But I know you guys are excited to see the brand new dealership. So let's go ahead and do a very, very quick tour before we bring the cars in, bro. I'm so excited for this man so of course as you can see this is what our customers see as soon as they enter we got our logo and everything up and then you know we'll get our showroom filled up over time bro. now i'm starting to kind of feel like i may be moved too fast because we got the three cars that we purchased from the auction here and then we have what four cars outside bro. so <laughs> we got a lot of space man we got a lot of space to fill up but we just getting started bro. so naturally we have our finance office right here of course so if you come in you don't got enough credit or if you just want to finance at least a car you know we'll have a, a bank and everything set up for you guys to handle that and then we have our waiting room right here now we probably should add some toys and a snack machine or something we got some <laughs> we got some fruit over here a little coffee machine you know nothing too crazy nothing too crazy now of course we have the atm you know that's always a necessity uh, like I said, we got our auction cars right here as well. A pretty nice showroom, bro. I can't even lie. The building, the remodeling, everything came out amazing. Um, of course, these garage doors right here work like I told you guys before. So we won't have any trouble, you know, accessing the showroom floor to either take out or bring in a vehicle. And this garage over here actually works as well, bro. So we making moves, man. We are making moves. Now, also, we have our merchandising right here. So if you want to buy, you know, um... When you get your first car, you know, the first thing you want to do is go wash it or whatever. So if you guys know anybody that, you know, has their own merchandise they want to, you know, put on the shelves, bro, just let me know. Hit me up in the comment section. We could throw something on there for you guys. But here is actually our manager's office. Don't get it twisted now. This is not the boss's office. This is the manager's office. So, you know, if this if it's a, if a, if a problem arise or if we got to do some inventory or something like that, that is probably where that will take place right here. Oh, my fault. I forgot to now. <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all. Hey, bro, I was not trying to get my damn jersey dirty, so I had to go ahead and change clothes. Bro, I just took my jersey off, took my buffs off. You know, nothing too crazy. But let's go ahead and go in the back and check out the rest of the dealership, man. This is huge, bro. This is huge, man. We come from. I wouldn't say we come from nothing, man. But y'all seem to come up, bro. Now, of course, this is actually our meeting room slash training facility. Uh, yes, these TVs do actually work. So if I need to play a video or training, you know, a training section or anything like that, I can turn that on. We'll just have all our employees meet back here. So we got a training facility, or not facility room, I guess is a better word for it. Let's go ahead and move forward. That, of course, is just the showroom floor again. Now. Moving back here, you have access to the garage. We'll go there in just a second. But of course, we have our employee restroom. You know, nothing too crazy. You know, you gotta use the bathroom sometime, man. And then of course, this is where our employees can check the schedule, you know, request time off, all that good stuff. We have pay phones, which I'm not sure why we have pay phones anymore. I, I don't even think these things exist anymore. Hey man, if y'all got a pay phone in your city, bro, <laughs> if y'all still got a pay phone, man, go ahead and, and, and comment down below, bro. That's, that's hilarious and then of course we got the logo thrown up on the wall nothing too crazy right here is actually just another exit um nothing too crazy that comes off on the side of the um the side of the building so you don't have to go through the shop and then let's move forward a little bit more man this place is huge bro this place is huge now of course we got the vending machine but this is actually just for employees i wanted to do something nice for them and i wanted to keep the uh the showroom floor clean that's why we didn't put that out there but this is you know of course the front of the dealership where we actually just came in at and then this is that same side entrance as well so let's actually go back and check out the shop bro i'm so excited for y'all to see this man pretty soon of course it's empty right now but pretty soon man this place is gonna be popping i'm talking employees cars customers everything all over the place but this is what we work so hard for y'all look at this man we got a full auto mechanic shop so this is what i was talking about being vertically integrated that means if we have any issues with any cars that we're selling we don't have to ship it over to the dealership or excuse me the manufacturer we can actually handle everything here so if we sell a car being that this is a used car dealership you know obviously our cars are going to come with the warranty but you don't want to wait you know a month for us to ship your car off or anything like that no no not at all bro we'll take care of everything right here for you got a huge garage man we could probably fit like 13 damn cars in here bro uh you see the the two lifts here 
in case we need to do some some work under there yes these do work as well let me go ahead and show you real quick extremely dope man extremely dope we have both of these up and uh when it comes time for storage or anything i don't know why this one ain't going up let me see what's going on let me see I don't know what's going on with that maybe the motor went out or something but when it <laughs> when it comes time for storage if we need to we can actually put you know one car up top one one car down below uh and honestly i'm thinking like more of our our uh more expensive cars at night we'll probably lock them up inside of here and then you know just our base basic cars we'll just put outside on the lot now moving forward with this tour man i'm hoping y'all excited bro this is this is monumental this is actually just a mechanic locker room you know i wanted to get them their own space you know they work so hard, man. They keep the company company thriving. So this is their own, you know, personal locker room. Now let's go ahead and, and go upstairs. Um, also, of course, this is just the exit side of things. It um, actually exit out to the main street. So, you know, we got tons of space. I know y'all remember all this whole entire wall, bro. This whole entire wall right there. All of that was filled with graffiti. We got everything painted. We got our number. Hey, bro, don't be calling me, bro. Do not be calling me, man. We ain't open yet, bro. But yeah, we got our number plastered on the side of the building. So we are making major moves. And then of course we got our executive office. We'll check out real quick. This is this is monumental, man. This is monumental. Let's check out the boss's office, man. This is where your boy will be, you know, signing them checks. <laughs> Cutting them checks, man. This is my office. Of course, you see I got my security cameras there. Uh they not on, obviously, or apparently so. Hey man, then we got our, our our nice and large work desk, and then you know, hey bro, end of the night, you know, maybe I kind of want to, you know, unwind a little bit. I got a full bar back here as well, so yeah, man, it's we built this place from the ground up. Y'all seen what it looked like before we got in here, and we literally transformed it. So now it's time to shit or shine, y'all. We put the work in. Now it's time to reap some of the benefits. But like I said, y'all, do me a favor and go ahead and comment down below which car should we actually leave outside on the lot, and which car should we. Um, put inside the dealership right now since i got all of those expensive cars from my mentor what i'm going to go ahead and do is take the uh the cars we got from the auction and put those outside and then the cars we got from my mentor i'll bring those inside of here actually i think we should probably storm back here um being at the dealership isn't open yet you know all they got to do is bust some of the windows out and they can probably get into the, the showroom floor right now so I think those cars right there we'll probably just store out here in the shop. I don't know why my why my damn uh, lifts aren't working anymore. We got to figure out what's going on with that, guys. Let me see. We're gonna try it one more. <laughs> We're gonna try it one more time, man. I know y'all hear the motor. I'm not sure what's going on, bro. But hey, like I like I always say, we are building the plane as we're flying it. Yeah, bro. It's it's broke, bro. <laughs> it's broke, y'all. I don't know what's going on, man, but. Let's go ahead and get these cars pulled inside real quick. Honestly, I'm trying to think which one is my favorite. Now that red, this red uh, Porsche, like I said, we'll probably take that over to the luxury dealership along with the Wraith. Um, out of all of them, I'm thinking the Audi is probably my favorite. And I'll show you guys the interior here in just a second. But I did my research when I got in the car. I saw it big as day. That is actually a Porsche Taycan. Taycan. It's an electric car, bro. Electric. So I was all, <laughs> I said a Porsche Panamera, I was all wrong, bro. But hey, man, you're living, you learn. So let's go ahead and hop in the Audi real quick and we'll get this pulled inside. Now, come on, bro. Check out this interior, man. Check out this interior on this Audi G. Oh my God. As a matter of fact, I'm not doing it justice. Let me, <laughs> let me hop out so I can show y'all, bro. Let me show y'all this interior. We're going to go into Spooner mode real quick just so y'all can get a full, you know, a full view of it. Come on, bro. I can sleep in here. This thing is nice. Like I said, out of all the out of all the cars we got, I think this one might be my favorite. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this pulled inside real quick, guys. Let me see. Whoa, did y'all hear the startup on that? Come on, man. Come on, man. Now, as you can see, we do not have the dealership plates on here now. We got to go uh, get those uh, and get some of the vehicles have them. Some of them don't. We got to get it registered and we'll get our dealer plates put on each vehicle. Let me see. I want to do some burnouts, man, but I'm not trying to mess up the uh, <laughs> mess up the newly paved uh, uh, parking lot or whatever. And like I told y'all when we did the visit last episode, they got my fence installed and everything. So now we have a security fence that'll open and close upon arrival. 
Let me see. Let me check traffic. We'll do a quick spin around the block, bro. I don't want to go too crazy, man. I don't want the neighbors complaining already. But, yeah, we'll just take it around the block real quick. I got to really, really be careful, man, because these are not my cars. Let me see. Come on, bro. Nah, honestly, think I'd probably like the... Nah, nah, I can't even lie, bro. I like this better. I was going to say, I think I would like the drop top a little better in this vehicle. But, bro, this... this this come on man what can you say like what complaints could you possibly have about this car man <laughs> it sounds so beautiful too just picture you ride with your lady man you got on a nice little button up man you smelling good you got on that let me see what cologne would i wear i'll probably wear that creed cologne in here you know just something nice man pull up hop out Whoa. Now, it does have sport mode. I really don't want to test it out because I'm not trying to wreck nothing. But y'all know me, man. We got to go crazy, bro. So, we're going to turn that sport mode on. Oh! Yeah, let me slow the hell down, y'all. We finna just go put it up. I'm done playing. We're going to end up wrecking. Let me go ahead and throw this bad boy in the garage, man. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's put this bad boy in the garage, man, before we mess something up. And magically, my damn lift actually... um went back down so maybe we can actually get this one working real quick let's see if we can get our i think this is probably too low to go up there i'm not trying to damage it but hey we're gonna <laughs> living you learn man oh that sounded so bad bro oh man it sounded like we did a little bit of damage. oh no it's cool okay perfect perfect now we know that this will fit on the lift look how wide those tires are though i'm trying to straighten up a little bit perfect all right guys we'll leave that there let's see if we can get my lift working we'll throw that bad boy up in the air oh i hit down i don't know y'all i don't know we're gonna have to get somebody in here to take a look at it for some reason my lift is not working right now <laughs> it couldn't show up man it couldn't show up to the show man but now we gotta hop into our jaguar uh, suv this thing is beautiful as well uh, the lights are so so bright in here. I gotta change my graphics, my guy. So just bear with me, man. I'm gonna get everything taken care of for you. But yeah, this thing is beautiful as well. Now I know y'all probably um wondering why I got so many expensive cars. Now y'all seen all the cars that my mentor has, so we can you know we can get expensive. But I kind of wanted you know so, some like borderline like entry level expensive. You know, not no Wraith or no damn you know Lamborghini or anything like that. But just you know. Just because it's in the hood don't mean they ain't got money, bro. We all know, you know, people in the hood that got them nice cars, bro. So let's not act like we ain't never seen it before, man. Let's see, we got two more vehicles to go ahead and pull inside. Like I said, guys, I really want to keep these vehicles safe and secure. And y'all know, unfortunately, wherever you go, you got haters. They see us trying to do something good. They try to egg one of our cars or bust some windows out or something like that, man. So we're going to keep these inside until our dealership opens up. And actually... Let me go. I'm not. I'm not doing this vehicle privilege. Uh, what it, doing it? I don't think that's the right saying. I'm not doing it privilege. No, I'm not doing this service. I can't remember the word. But anyways, I want to show y'all the inside of this thing, man. Come on, bro. Stop playing. Stop playing, bro. Look at this, man. All electric. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is next level stuff. I think. I think I'm kind of starting to have a change of heart, man. I think I may get me one of these bad boys in between this or the Tesla. It started right now, y'all. Y'all can't even hear. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy inside. It'd be crazy if I came in and the lift was up, bruh. <laughs> this dealership would definitely be haunted, man. I wonder if we can fit all of our cars back here. Just to be safe. Because like I said, the only thing stopping somebody from breaking in is just busting that window in there in the uh the showroom. So go ahead and pull in that last that last car and again like i said we'll actually move this one over to our um our luxury dealership they got the roll cage in there come on man take a second to peep the sign peep my little sign moving man it's the little stuff y'all probably don't even be noticing man little sign moving bro we literally transform the aesthetics of this whole entire neighborhood and yes of course i'm a little bit too tall for this bad boy but that don't take away from it man this thing is beautiful as well so we'll get this bad boy pulled in the back oh damn i ain't mean <laughs> I ain't mean to do all that, G. Oh, 
so boom well i honestly think we could probably fit all of our cars in here i think that's probably a smart idea is just to bring them all back here until we get everything open man yeah so we'll just park this one right here let's go grab our other cars real quick pull them around oh damn i'm almost finna pass my damn <laughs> pass my entrance mike now, out of these three, I'm thinking my favorite is probably the CTS. I'm not even going to lie to you. I really don't even like the wagon look, but listen to it. That's why it's my favorite, bro. Stop playing. Stop playing, bro. We'll go ahead and pull this around to the other side. I really like the access of this, I mean, of this business, bro. You can come in on all you know, different intersections, all four intersections. You have access to the building. Now that could definitely be a good thing or a bad thing. We won't know until, you know, until we know. So yeah, we'll go ahead and pull this bad boy in. Make sure I'm not finna hit nothing in here. Also guys, we are hiring at the moment, man. So all positions, bro, sales, mechanic, all type of stuff. But just try to make sure you got a little bit of experience, man. I know we're a new shop right now, but I really am not trying to do too much training. Obviously, there is some training that comes with opening up a new business, but, you know. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, we need to come up with like a little, uh, little motto, like a little company slogan for our commercials or something like that. Tell me right now it won't be dope as hell if y'all turn on the next episode and we got a commercial. Tell me right now, bruh. <laughs> y'all know how creative I can get, man. This is stuff that I love doing, man. I really be having fun with this shit. If y'all can see me right now, bro, I got a huge smile on my face. <laughs> Some people say I'm lame as hell. That's cool, man. It ain't never be too hard for myself, bruh. But this GT, this GT Mustang is a bad boy. I think I may, I know I said this before, but I think this may actually be the vehicle I purchased in real life, man. I was really set on getting like a, a Charger or a Challenger or something like that, but just from playing this video game, bro, this shit, this shit is hard. So yeah, we'll get that pulled in and then we got our last Volkswagen SUV. I need to know, man, do y'all think, oh, I guess I should probably go, oh damn, I didn't, came in the day, <laughs> the storage room. I guess I should ask you guys, do you think we should open the dealership now or should we wait until we get more vehicles? I don't know, bro. I feel like I feel like if we open it now, it's kind of like fishy. Like, where are all y'all cars at, man? Why, why are you opening now, y'all? I only got nine cars. Like, where are all y'all cars at, bro? So, I don't know, man. I'll let y'all decide. This one don't sound too bad either, bro. This Volkswagen. This one does not sound too bad either, bro. I actually like this, man. This could be a, definitely a daily driver. And, hey, y'all, I'm not going to cap, man. Throughout the series, bro, we're going to be taking some of these cars home, bro. So, <laughs> if I'm in a new whip every day, bro, hey, y'all know what it is. I think I could have pulled that. Nah. Yeah, we'll just pull this right here. We'll just pull this one right here. Cool. Alrighty guys, so this is this is it man. This is what we worked so hard for now Of course, like I said before in the intro some of these cars we do not own but we are gonna get a percentage of the sale And we actually have to pay insurance on them while they're sitting on our lot So it's very imperative that we get rid of these cars ASAP guys So I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick these damn cones up out the street and get this truck back I'll see you guys in just a second all right, guys, so I finally got the truck back over here, man. I got the dealership locked up. Now, I need to go ahead and transfer that uh, red Porsche over to our luxury dealership, but I'll take care of that a little later, a little later, guys. So, hey, man, with this series, like I said, it's all about growth and development, man. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, if you are, do me a favor. Go ahead and like the video. I'm actually going to drop two of these episodes today, two of them. So what I need you guys to do for me is please make sure you have on your post notifications and also just check the uh, channel frequently, like every day, because for for some reason bro youtube been hating on this man they ain't sending out my notifications so i do apologize about that guys so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and uh stop this video here get it edited get it posted and start on the second one i definitely appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been showing to the channel we are only like what i think like like what 6k or something like that away from our 100k goal guys so thank you thank you thank you so much man like always don't forget to smack that subscribe button and i'm on to the next one